In this video, I'm going to be comparing the strength of white ash with Sitka spruce. While restoring this FP202, I noticed that my Sitka spruce was extremely weak, so I started off testing its specific gravity, and it was significantly below the minimum, which is 0.36. I would recommend doing a specific gravity test on every stick of lumber that you get. It doesn't use very much and it verifies that, you're, that, you, that you don't have a lot of lignin in the lumber and that the uh, fibers are tightly woven. And all of that is really high relative to its specific um, species. Now over here I've got a lot of data. I'm going to try to just come in on that and if you want to pause it and read some of that data for each of the selections uh, the control is Sitka spruce which is on the far right next one uh, the one to the far left is Pennsylvania ash common ash is next from Missouri from wooden aviation and then Next to the Sitka is the select ash from Missouri. To test your specific gravity, cut square pieces of wood and then cut the length exactly 10 times its width. Then you mark it off in 10 equal lengths. And this here is a piece of Sitka. It's select. Its minimum specific gravity is 0.36, which I put a heavy line on it for 0.36, and 0.4 is its average. You drop it in distilled water. You don't drop it. You set it and then release it when you're close to the minimum. Okay, that's five and a half. That's what I got. 0.55. That's what I got last time. The select ash, and ash is quite high in specific gravity. And the ash should be 5, 6 minimum, and it's 6, 8 for the select. And that's from Missouri, from Wooden Aviation. And this is also from Wooden Aviation. They sent me samples of their white ash. And this is common white ash. It's six point, it's right at average, 6.2, 0.62. This here is from Pennsylvania. This here is select also. It's about 14 growth rings per inch. And we'll see what it is. It's 7.2. And you can see I've already marked them because I've already tested them. But it was a few days ago, so they dried out, and they retested exactly the same. Now, because aircraft are designed and plans are drawn relative to Sitka spruce as the uh, structural, main structural wood, all except for wooden aviation, they build all of theirs out of ash. Uh, you have to reduce the size of the white ash to match the weight of the Sitka spruce. These have all been cut down to match the exact same weight and they all, all of the ash weighs less than the Sitka spruce. Slightly, but a little bit less. And now we can test them at the same weight. Before testing the wood though, I want to go over one thing. If you notice, the uh, Pennsylvania ash needs to be reduced to 75% and of Sitka spruce, and then the common ash from wooden aviation needs to be reduced 87.5%. And the select ash from wooden aviation needs to be reduced 77.7%. .7%.
Now, when you reduce this, you don't go both directions. And I thought this would be common, but I talked to a cabinet maker friend of mine, and I said if you wanted to reduce the size in half, what would you do? And he said, well, you cut it in half both ways. Um, no, you cut it in half both ways, and now you've got one-fourth. So, what you do is you create a constant by finding the area. And once you find the area, and let's see, where did I put the area? Right there's the area. They're all within 1.159 square inches to 0.166. That's the Sitka spruce. These are 1.167, 0.162 is this square area. So you figure out the square area and then you multiply it by 75 percent and then square root it. And that gives you a constant for 75 percent it would be 0 0.86 87 and a half percent would be 0 0.93 and the sizes on these are 402 thousandths on the average. Very close to that. And that would make the Pennsylvania ash needs to be 352 thousandths square, and it is, and 381 thousandths for the common ash from wooden aviation, and the select ash would be 359 thousandths per side. And of course, the Sitka would be left the same and it's at 407 thousandths. All of these have been reduced to match the weight or be under slightly the weight of the Sitka spruce and there's not a whole lot of difference, noticeable difference and now we're gonna test them against the Sitka spruce. Our first test is going to be the control wood, which is Sitka spruce. And I made this contraption, it took me about a half an hour. I just wanted to whip something out quickly. So we're doing a bunch of tests. We're actually testing my uh, engineering skills and T88, and which there's very little of it between these, and, and then the wood. So without further ado, Let's go ahead and that's going to come back away. So let's go ahead and bring this up. Okay, I believe we left off at two and a half. Let's go to three inches. Let's see what, how this does. Ooh, cracked at three inches. All right, now. Let's see how it develops at just three. So you get a stress fracture. Let's go to three again. And just Let's just duplicate three. Yeah, okay. That was it, because spruce select. Okay, now we're going to do the common white ash that was sent to me from Wooden Aviation out of Missouri. And uh, let's not waste a lot of time. I'm sure it's going to do at least two inches. Let's try that here. Okay, let's go to three inches. Let's go to four inches. And all of these weights, woods, weigh exactly the same thing. The ash is reduced in size to match the Sitka spruce. Here's four inches with the common ash from wooden aviation. Oh, I thought I might have heard a crack. Let's just do four again. Yeah. So at four, it weakened it, and redoing it at four, it cracked right over. Okay, so I lost the footage from the select white ash from Wooden Aviation, so 
I'm going to redo that one. You can see right there that it had cracked. Previously it had cracked at 5 inches. So let's go ahead and start that at 3. Here's 4. Here's five, and once again it cracked at five. Now we're going to try the Pennsylvania ash, and it's the thinnest of the woods, heaviest of them, and therefore the thinnest. We'll go ahead and start at one inch with it also. That's fun. Okay, three inches. And this is where Sitka spruce cracked. Still pretty strong. Let's go to four inches. It should crack at four inches. It's a pretty thin piece of wood. Well, all right, let's just start stepping it up. Let's go to five inches. Well, let's go to six. This has got a crack. Yep, cracked. Cracked pretty good at six inches, and that was a Pennsylvania Select Ash. So, in conclusion, the Select Sitka Spruce snapped at a three inch drop of a six pound, six and a half pound weight. The common ash from Wooden Aviation out of Missouri. It is reduced to 87% the size of the Sitka Spruce and it snapped at 4 inches and I shouldn't say it snapped, it's still very strong. I can't even get it to budge whereas the Sitka snapped right off. The select ash from Wooden Aviation, it's reduced to 77% of the size of the select ash, or Sitka spruce. And at a 5 inch drop, it cracked right there, and you can hardly push on it. I lost that footage, so I did it again, and I don't know but what some of the fracture made it crack quicker, but or crack more it still didn't crack until five inches but while I was playing with it it broke right off but the initial crack was five inches and it's still extremely sturdy now the Pennsylvania um, select ash it is reduced to three quarters or 75 percent the size of the Sitka and at six inches it cracked but it didn't crack much and it's got a very high specific gravity so and it's not going to budge and that was at six inches now by no means is this a single test I've done these tests many many times I already knew what was going to happen and actually you could elevate the results because this particular selection of Sitka spruce is extremely strong, it has a very high specific gravity. So the results typically are more in favor of the ash. The other test that I did not put on here is sliding a weight out the length of a selection 
and I gave up on that because the Sitka spruce would snap at about 12 inches the same weight I could take it out 24 inches or more and uh, it would just hang there on the ash so why would you use anything else